Gold on the IFL TV in association. Before we start, which one are you checking? Rita or, or Ellie Golden? Oh, oh no. Sorry, man, I don't want to do this. Listen, my girl will punch me up. All right, all I'm right, he isn't. So I'm a faithful I'll explain Christian this. man. Um, a, selfie went up, a selfie went up of you and Ellie Golden. Yeah, man, and, uh, they were all hugging up, the... kissing up, everything. No, I wasn't, I wasn't. Don't <laughs> listen to him. Listen, Zyla, if you're, look, if you're listening, please. Um, no. Baby, I'm, I, baby, I'm only playing with you. <laughs> He's going to get over the dartboard with his face on. <laughs> your southern area is on fire outside the house. But you know what, this, this young man here, uh, I've seen him, I'm going to follow his career through to the end, to the top. Because I've seen him coming through and I thought, he reminded me of myself, he's tall, lanky, skinny, you know what I mean? But he can fight and he likes the game. You're like father and son. Yeah. <laughs> like born, he likes the game and I just thought, you know what, he'll do well, he'll do well. And uh, once he got that uni with Eddie and he started to get the fights on, he was in. An amazing fight with uh, uh, with Camacho, and, I, and to fight with one shoulder and do what you did, it showed that. That's one thing you can't buy. That's you one thing you can't, it, you, you can't, can't measure it. it. You can't. No one can give Trust it to you. That's instinctive, and so he showed so much heart in that to come through and turn it around, do what he did. No props. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the deal with you? Then? What's the deal with the champ? Uh, the deal champ? with the champ is, <laughs> just, um, yeah, I'm fighting on the uh, 17th of March. You know, uh, opponent to be confirmed. I'm hoping it's for some sort of title or something, you know, so uh, right now what I'm focusing on is my own progression as a fighter, you know, working on my fundamentals in the gym every day, just grafting, grafting all the time, all the time. And uh, what's happening in the, the world of Nelson? <laughs> I'm looking, you know what, it's nice to see the progression, the development of, of, of our future uh, and uh, people like Isaac are our future, our future. Um, at pay-per-view stars and like yeah. it or not he's going to look back at things like this and he'll say God look at me I was a young boy then when he's at the Trust top me. and that's how it is you know, you're these, gassing these him up so much right now no no but, but listen and, and, and what I'm saying to you is as long as he believes and he's honest with himself when he's training he's fighting and he's listening and learning there is no reason why it shouldn't happen remember I had 13 amateur fights I only won 3 I was garbage and I you, I believe you had to I live in the gym. Third, I had the first three. I lost, I lost my first three professional fights. Yeah. So if I could turn it round and end up retiring yeah. as undefeated world champion, can you imagine what a talented man like this could do? Well, and that's and what I'm saying. I've all never it is, had is about given that. to me too. Yeah, it's about no that. Any journey, man. I've never had nothing given to me. You know? Yeah, and that, that's Within what I'm saying. Six fight, I'm number eight in the country. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that, that's what's most important. But what he's been doing is what a lot of fighters don't do, which is travel the world as a sparring partner, work with the likes of Deontay Wilder sparring. Guys don't do that. They want, they, they want the trainer holding their hand, they don't want to do that and go in someone else's backyard to be a sparring partner. And that, to me, develops you as a fighter, mentally, physically, emotionally. And that's why he, at this stage in his professional career, look what he's doing, look where he is in the British rankings. So I think this is just the beginning, and this will just be, you know, it'll be all news when he's world champion. You need to make a great pair. Professionally, professionally, not not romantically. Yeah, yeah. you know what it's, I mean. It's all about yeah, yeah. It's all about building, man. <laughs> it's all about building. That's the main thing, you know. The development. You, know, you can always get better. You can always improve. And that's the main thing, you know. I'm oh. surprised they not got you into spar with either Belly or Hay. Uh, I think we were supposed to, you know, but I don't know. It fell through or something. They they tried to get us like a day before. They contacted us day before. Can you come down? Quick? But I was like. Bro, we already, you know, you should have told us a week before or something, do you know what I mean? But it's alright, you know, we'll, we'll get the chance soon, you know. So. You saw that in Miguel's, aren't you? Yeah, still in Miguel's. People, box, get yourself yeah. down at Miguel's, get, get yourself down to Miguel's Boxing Gym, Dan Bricks, and you see this guy here training. Uh, it's, it's an open house. Go in and, and if you're a boxing fan, go down and check it out, and you'll see yeah. some other young potential stars coming through. Obviously, your two big guys, um, the other two big guys on the card that you're just talking about, Hay versus Bellew. What's going to happen? Come on, boys, predictions. Uh, I think if Tony Bellew has got it right and seen something we haven't seen, uh, he will be, be like a boxing guru. Uh, a lot of us, most of us, looked at David Hay's last two fights and weren't impressed. He looked flat-footed, not impressive. But maybe David Hay tapered himself to fight that 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 style for those people. Uh, uh, Will he step it up when it comes to fighting um, uh, 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 Tony Bellew? And can he turn back time? And that's most important. If he can turn back time, it, it's a shutout for, for David Hay. If he can't turn back time and Tony Bellew's seen something we haven't seen, then, you know, Tony Bellew uh, pulls it off. And Isaac? Uh, why? It's, it's, it's quite a difficult one. It's all about the tactics on this, on, on this you know. Everyone's writing off um, Tony Bellew, but, you know, there's another thing you can't measure the heart. 
you know, you can't measure the heart of what happens in that ring. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of if he plays it smart and he, and he, and he wears Hay down in the first three, four rounds, he starts to get in the mid stages, starts to turn into a dogfight, then he might have a, he has a good chance because he looks like he's growing, he's, he's put on a lot of weight and, and he he's, looks like he's been doing, doing a lot of core training as well. If you judge it on what's happened so far, yeah. you'd say Tony Bellew is, is ahead on points because Tony Bellew is getting David to dance his dance, oh, you yeah, know, which yeah. is he's getting, getting him mad, getting him angry. Yeah. And no matter how many rounds you train for, if you're going to throw a jab this round, a jab left, right, the next round, a couple of hooks, the third round, all those plans that you've got in your head, they're going to get mashed up because you're so angry, you just want to get rid of this guy in front of you. And so what Tony's doing is, Tony's finding calm throughout chaos. This isn't the only fight where Tony has got verbally into a fight where they're, they're barking at each other. And Tony's the one that likes that because he's comfortable with that. So if David starts to fight like he's acting now, you know, there's a problem. aggressively, there's a problem. Big problem. There's a big problem. Well, it's all psychological. It's exciting that's the, that's times all around. You don't see, you know, the psychological side. You know, like imagine in my fight with Wadi, when he started realizing that after I put my shoulder, up, I was hitting him. He was thinking, wow, what does it take to stop this guy? Broke he, his heart. Yeah, it broke him down. It broke him down every time I was hitting him. He was, he was just slowly breaking. That's the that's the psychological side you, that that people don't see. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's all good training and stuff, but when you're experienced, you know, in that ring, going a full 10 rounds and, and being through it, it's a lot different than, than sparring, you know what I mean? It's a lot different when the lights are there and then everyone's watching, the heat of the lights are, are, are showing down in your skin and it's, it's different. The, the ring canvas as well, even the little things as well, you know, it's, it's, it, it takes a lot out of you. So when you fight, bro, it's a different experience. You know? Do you agree with everything you're saying? Everything. 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 You see what? What is a pair? Like a mini me. I think it's wise great. Head, the wise head on your shoulders, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Well, Isaac, Johnny, thank you so much to IFL TV. Sweet. Thank you. Crack on, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks so much to IFL TV. Top boys.